Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? How you guys doing? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1, but it's not a normal ranked 1v1. It is Tilt, which will be uploaded on Wednesday more than likely. If uh, if this new schedule is what I'm thinking of will actually work. So I got to think of some new names. But anyway, this guy's name is Chessman. But anyways, I'm playing out Kwong for gaming. Um, do I just go... There's like a super cringy part of me that just wants to start this. Like a really cringy part of me just wants to start Tower Shield. <laughs> do I do it? I'll do no damage. It's not worth. It's not worth. How much power is this? 45. It's not worth. My oyster, which I with sword Dang it. I kind of want it to be worth it, though. All right. Till you don't win. It, what would that? What? Till I don't win. Did <laughs> <laughs> the new name for this series excuse me sir may i may i interest you in a fine case of how the fuck did you get that he got that was his three. Oh my i'll never oh my god I lost already. Ow. Dag nabbit. Now I got no mana. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to max your three on Ao Kuang. I don't remember completely, obviously, but I think you're supposed to. I think I'm just going to rip this, by the way, and just see what the fuck happens. Like, I'm going to 50-50 it. Okay, well, my, my life sucks. Okay, nice. Nice. I knew he was going to ult that. I knew he was going to chase with the ult. <laughs> All right. I'm behind for sure. Why are you always here? Leave me alone, you freak. Dude, I can't. Die. Die to me. I'm dead. No. Damn it. I'm so far behind now. I'm 700 gold down. I can't believe he has beads, by the way. That's crazy. All right. Well, I lost. So th for the remainder of the game, it is now my duty to warn you about locking in Ao Kong. <laughs> Don't do it. Or this could happen to you. I think I might be dead here. He just runs. He's just, he's just faster than me. He just heals. No blade shall pierce my eye. You don't have to worry about recording a tilt video if you lose the first match. That's actually smart. It's it's not my intention to make a shorter video on purpose. I want to win. <laughs> hey, are you doing this? Oh, you already did it. Damn it. Oh. Hello.
Bro, how did he just alt? How did he get over there that quick? Mm. Ouch. Mm, poke. Unleash your will. That poke is actually nasty, though. Unleash your will. The poke is actually crazy good poke. Oh, let's do this, and then... I mean, I guess I'm going to 50-50 another buff. Peace out. Peace out, Dweebus. Joke's on you. I was always going to lose that buff. <laughs> I never expected to get that buff. I just wanted to kill you. How do you feel being played? I being manipulated. Yeah, not great, huh? Not great. I just got my first buff of the game. And I got a return kill. Let's go. We're back in it. And this is why you should lock in Aokwong. <laughs> this is why you should never not pick Aokwong. I'm not going to lie. I still feel like I'll die really easy to him. He's just giving me this? Hello. Okay. Okay. You are going to alt away. I'm, I'm sure of it. No, you're not. When does your blue come up? It's got to be soon, right? Oh, it is soon. All right, let's grab this. I think I can fight him because he has no defense yet. By the way, next item is 100% like just big anti-heal. Big ass anti-heal. That's all I need. Mm. Alright, we'll get his beads here. And you cannot fight me. We'll get your beads for the alt. And you cannot fight me. Perfect, baby. Perfect. Now we need anti-heal. What's the best form of anti-heal? For me, it's probably divine, right? They remove Toxic Blade from the game, I think. I mean, I, I could go Contagion. It's not very good, but I could do it. Oh, he's getting his defense. Hello? He already has tier 2 Pestilence. I really don't like that, but there's also not much I can do about it. Bonk. Look at all that damage I just did to him. Alright, now, I don't think these are 50-50s anymore. I actually just clear it so fast that it's pretty much confirmed. You can clear wave. I'm going to get rock. I'm assuming you're not going to invade my blue because I think you might die trying. You can check the healing reduction. Oh, right. I didn't even know it was here. Yeah, divine ruin or contagion are the only options I have for anti -heal. Let's go back. No? Okay. Now what? Now what? I was going to back, then you stopped my back. Now what? Now we're both here, standing here, 
with our thumbs up our asses looking like a dummy because neither of us can win the fight although i do think if we fought i would probably still win but neither of us are comfortable fighting the world's my oyster. congratulations I doofus now we go telekines because telekines adds a lot of damage with my auto attack chain five basic attack damage plus three per level i'm level 14. it's 42. It's 40 47 i guess because it's the five base damage you get thank you so much for the sub delusional hello I don't know maybe i need to be more scared of him but like i feel actually very safe i feel like i'm not really in danger Low. dr delivery thank you for the sub appreciate you All right, now we get Telkines. Do you have any I also want to go I also want to go I mean Demonic is good. I kind of just want to go Cyclopean though. I have no pen. Demonic it would Demonic would be good. He's also going Beat Stick right now. I'd imagine it's Beat Stick. I guess it could be other stuff, but I see your pestilence. Why are you hiding from me? I see your pestilence icon on the map. You can't be sneaky. You gave up sneak factor when you bought pestilence. Look at that damage, dude. Oh, he healed a lot there. All right. All right. Well, I guess I'm not killing him here. I really need pen. I'm, I'm torn between my last two items being demonic and typhons because obviously attack speed and pen, or if I just, just should just go cyclopean and typhons. I do think typhons is a better option than demonic. Cause it's just like a, it's a flat 20% pen. Mm. I think I'm going to grab this and just go Typhon. My attack speed is 1.89 already, which is pretty good. It's, it's not the best, but... Once I get Typhons, like, the more power I get in general, the more attack speed I'll get because of my my thingy. But I think I'm just going to rip fire, by the way. Oh, never mind. Never mind, because he stopped. There's so much anti-heal that Typhons may not be the best. My thought process behind getting Typhons is not that it's gonna help me during a fight it's the fact that i can sustain while not fighting like i can always be full health be ready for a fight perfect Now, I would like to get that rock as well, but I don't know if it's possible. Alright. 
That was that was actually a really good fight for me. This is a really good fight for me. He's got no knockup. He's very scared to fight. Perfect. Perfect. He's going Magi's, which is... That's a very weird thing to build, in my opinion, because he already has committed the Relic to stopping my ult. Which, you know, the beads. If he already has the Relic to stop the ult, why are you building an item to stop the ult that the Relic already stops? If I had multiple forms of CC, then it would make sense, but I don't. I have exactly one form of CC in my whole kit, and it's on a one minute cooldown. Correction, it's on a one and a half minute cooldown. Do you have any lances? I don't I kind of just want to go demonic. I mean Okay, his second relic is actually Thorns. So I'm thinking my second relic could be just an Aegis. It could also be a Blink, actually. Blink could go crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go Blink. No, Magi's would have been huge brained if he didn't have beads. I think I feel like now. Like, yeah, Magi's is gonna do its job. It's gonna stop me from from alting him, but what is your other relic gonna do? Like, what is what is the whole point of your second relic? Just a three second cooldown every how long is the cooldown of it? Three second cooldown off your abilities every two and a half minutes almost. I don't know. Everything I'm saying could just be completely wrong and he just cooks my shit. You know, you like, you really never know. Alright, let's get the Magi's here. And then I have this. Oh, I was gonna blink. I was gonna blink, but I don't think that... I don't think I could have killed even with blink there. It's not bad though, like that that fight wasn't bad because we got one thing down, right? Which is I think the main thing probably. We got his magi's down. Although I will say with no cooldown, it's actually not that big of a thing. Because to say it's a big thing because we have like a five second window, but we don't. I thought I thought this was a hundred second cooldown, but it's only seventy. So I just alt for damage at this point. Just fine. That that knockup didn't hit me. I don't know why. Definitely always supposed to hit me there. Oh, close. Close. He got his alt up again. I guess he has max cooldown, right? That's right, I do so much damage. He got a 500 pod. He's ready to throw down. Alright. I don't mind whatever nonsense he's doing here. Um, I think he might be thinking that he can stop me from taking this by killing minions, but uh, I have 2.3 attack speed. Nice. Perfect. Um, and I actually think I can burst Titan so fast I can kill it with 500 health. Yep. In fact, I didn't even need 500 health. I only needed 300. I, I can burst Titan so fast without Kwong. All right. GG game one. I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, welcome back to game two. The reason I'm playing Anubis is because Al Kwong is fan. Uh, and Anubis is next to Al Kwong. That's the whole reason. That's the whole reason I picked him. There's nothing special about it.
I just figured I just figured he's next to him why not you know fighting Loki this is this is quite literally the worst matchup possible this is just a straight up bad matchup um let's do this let's do this let's start blue buff i'm actually not gonna start my two at all i'm just gonna clear buffs actually should i level my should i just start red i mean surely i out damage him at level three right i don't know Chat, someone tell Goomba what I said to him. I'm very cautious right now because I, I know that Loki's like to start blue buff because Loki very mana hungry, but I'm still very cautious that I, I might get invaded here. I'm actually going to use my horn shard here. I'm going to use my horn shard so I can do day. All right, good stuff. He got his blue, so now I will get... He got my blue, this snake rat bitch. How dare you? No, I'm dead. My minis, my minis. What's good? What's good, homie? What's good, homie? What is good? I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of no one. Uh oh. Oh man, I wanted to wrap his three. I wanted to wrap his three just so that he couldn't clear the back line. And then I could just kind of like auto him with archers at the same time. And it would do so much to him. Why does this matchup have smite two gods? True. True. By the way, I was actually thinking. And this is by no means saying that I'm going to do it, but I... It's just a question. If I could make a dual tournament in Smite 2 and there would be prize pools of diamonds hosted by high res, do you think the rule set the rule set the rule set do you think the rule set should be first to three kills or tower? Or should it be first to five kills or or tier two tower? I don't know. I feel like five kills might be too much. You're dead, by the way. Unlucky. Depends on how they handle duel. No, I'm saying if we did a duel tournament in in the conquest map, like mid lane only. I don't think I could die here, by the way. My... My rap just bounced off his thing. Will this be theoretically on the new dual map or the conquest map? It would be on the conquest map. Which is why it would be either a few kills or tower. I'm gonna use horn chart here. I know Loki's close and I know he is all, so I just wanna I just wanna get ready and get out. Actually He's gonna come for my blue. I'm waiting. That's 
that's very weird that he would just give me the blue. Okay, I mean, since we don't have a release date of duel, I think three kills is best if you want to do it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I think I'm just going to go Typhons, by the way. By what mechanism does this power arise? He's going to go a ton of damage here. Dude, him going Genji's instead of Pestilence is so insane. Your middle tower is under attack. Your blue is up, right? Oh, you did it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where is he? There he is. I really don't think I have to be scared here at all. I mean, if he ults me, I can either Aegis it or ult it. I think I, because he has no anti-heal, it would be better if I just ulted it. So. I think. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my rap there, but this is fine. Yes, I do know when Duel is coming to my two. No, I cannot say anything about it. I am under NDA. So, I'm sorry I cannot butt in with this conversation of when is Duel going to launch. Dude, Anubis all feels so fast. Because in Smite 2, Anubis Alt is like a single giant burst of damage and then a couple of ticks. And so in Smite 1, it just being like immediate ticks is crazy. It's so quick. Are you involved with its development? No. Not yet. How much can this Although I could ask. Should I ask to be involved in Duel's development for Smite 2? Or should I just leave it up to them and be surprised? I feel like it might even be better to just be surprised. I don't think I can kill you, can I? Perfect. Perfect. Let us continue our fight. That was a pretty solid kill. What the? Have I even been Loki altered a single time this game? I don't know if I have. I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure that I can just get this Phoenix. I think because of the fact that he doesn't have any anti-heal, 
I basically have infinite sustain. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just killing myself here on, on accident. I mean, it's not even an accident. But. Oh, he's just back there. Okay, he could ult me here and maybe do something, but. I don't know. Hello. No, dude. I was actually cooking. I was cooking. He had both beads and ages. Oh man, I was I was toasted him. All right, well played. I can't even be mad at that. Well played. Um I think I might just go chrono spending. People I mean, I think people calling Smite 2 dead. The reason they're saying that is because Smite 1 has so much content. And Smite 2 is so brand stinking new. It doesn't even have any content yet. And it's really hard for anyone to come from Smite 1 that wants to get into Smite 2. Because... Like, realistically, you're just not going to have the same experience in Smite 2. You're just not. It's just too different. But, I think the more gods and the more content they add... I think the more gods and the more content they add to Smite 2, the less people will call it dead, and the more people will call it innovative. All right, so that alt, by the way, um, I knew he didn't have beads or Aegis up. Him alting is the only way to survive that, and that means I pretty much guarantee Phoenix here. You know, barring catastrophe with him blocking autos. Even if I die here, it doesn't matter. Getting Phoenix is Omega important. Is this for me? You shouldn't have. Perfect. I got all ticks of my alt on him there. I got all 30 ticks of my alt. I think we just win here. Oh, maybe not, because I don't have fire minions. If this wave was fire minions and they, like, survived a little bit longer, I could probably win here. As is, they're a little too squishy. Hello? Okay. Perfect. Live! I'm just gonna Aegis. Just gonna play it safe in Aegis. Alright. I'm pretty sure that confirms the game. Let's go, dude. GG game two. I will see you guys in game three, where I guess this is not this is no longer a tilt with only Yao Kong. This is an Anubis or an Ao Kong tilt. Unless this guy bans both of them, and then I'm just going to pick another A god, because why not? What's up, gamers? Game number three. Playing Ao Kuang. Till I lose. Which might be this game, because that's a Master's Border Medusa. Who more than likely will have Fatalis. 
which is pretty tough for Ao Kuang. He also will probably go Pestilence. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe he messes up. Maybe he doesn't do any of that. Should I go Horrific? I feel like Horrific could own in the early game. If I go Horrific... If I go Horrific Wing Shard, I could kill. I think. JLLV Destroyer. JLLV? Is that 2005? L is the Roman numeral for a thousand, right? Um, is he going to go red? L is 50. Okay, I'm an idiot. Oh, he's going to be doing red. Do I out confirm his red? All right. Trick question. I already did it. Let's go, gamer. Don't hit me, please. What? Okay, that 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 third auto, I don't know if that went the way it's supposed to go. What if I just did this, though? Perfect! Nice. Nice, dude. Very, very nice. Okay, so we got his... We got his relics. And we got the kill. And we got double buff. And I'm gonna get triple buff here. Very, very good start to this game. Holy crap. What a great start to this game. And he has thorns. So, in case you're wondering the reason he dashed in on me there. Um, it's not because he thought he was going to, like, dash in and kill my ass. It's because he thought that he would dash in and thorns would kill my ass. Right, obviously I can't kill him with my with no mana here, but I can annoy him enough. And as long as I don't get too poked out here. Oh, I might be dead. I didn't know he's I thought he used his wing shard. I honestly thought he had he had used his wing shard when he died in that fight. If he used his wing shard, I could get away there pretty easily because he has no dash and he ulted already, so I can just walk away. But the movement speed from wing shard, though, it sucks. I really did not think he he held that up. Are these not dead? Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Well, unfortunately, he is going pestilence now after his return. Um, do I die here? No, because I got life steal. But miss my three. All right. Do I have enough time to get this buff? I do. Oh, I died to him, dude. I juked so hard. I juked absolutely every... I juked his alt, for God's sakes. 
I juked his ult for God's sakes and I still died there. Damn it. I'm not gonna lie, this is feeling like a Medusa diff. This is feeling like a better God pick diff. Once I get some cooldown though, maybe it'll change. One hopes. One can hope. Well, let's check for treasure chests. They're not here. Dude, he just insta clears, bro. Oh my god, he already got his pistol. He already got his Pestilence online. He's not that far ahead of me. But I definitely cannot fight into Pestilence. I definitely can't fight into Pestilence. Let's just get whatever farm we can. All right. I think I'm happy with that. I got the rock. We get the rock. Hmm. Your will. All right. I think I've given up red buff. I'm just going to play it safe here. He obviously just wants to go hyper aggro. I'm just going to ult him and get the fuck out. I'm just going to ult him and get out. You can have the red buff. It's fine. Let's grab this and then we will go into telekines. Maybe we should go into pen actually. Maybe we should go into demonic here actually. Demonic might be better. What up, JTuck? I did say I was doing this for you, by the way. Can I fight you at all? My guess is definitely no. Now, obviously, I have to give him this, but... Wait, what? You're letting me keep it? Okay, that, that's just straight up unexpected. Why did he give that to me? Um, I don't know what his game plan is, but he just, get, he just got me back in the game. What up, Dark? How are you, man? He just got me back in the game. I got both blues and the rock. Ouch. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just dead here. He's us. Oh, he, he beats as well. Jesus Christ, that damage. All right. Talk about crazy. Mm, second relic. I kind of feel like maybe just Aegis. Do we think he's going straight to rip fire? Probably not, right? 
Though it wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It would just be a ballsy idea. And I guess he's ballsy because he did it. It's a weird thing to do, but... All right. Oh, you got a 500 pot too, huh? Did he get a 500? Can't tell. I missed. Let's grab this, and then I will grab a 500 pot because I feel like I need it. That sustain is ridiculous. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just getting Medusa, bro. I'm just getting Medusa. I couldn't do anything about it. I did. I did so much damage. I mean, he's going ace and like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just the problem with mages right now in duel, right? If you pick a mage... If you pick a mage, you should expect to lose because Pestilence is the best item in the game. Like, it, hands down, it's just... It's just the best item in the game. Mages have no form of anti-heal. Like, if you build Contagion and Divine Ruin as a mage, both forms of your only, your only version of anti-heal, unless they're also a mage, nothing matters. Like, <laughs> you just... You you can't do anything about it. You just can't do anything about it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.